Recently, there was a very beautiful astronomical site. Three prominent planets had huddled together in a very small region of the sky. And of course, there was a lot of excitement among observational astronomers and amateur astronomers. And there was also a talk of the dance of the planets. Okay, the interesting motion that we see from the Earth as planets go around. We will see some geometry behind this and an interesting pattern that results from it. We will start with a planet Venus and we know it orbits the Sun like this. We can even show the orbit of Venus and we are going to assume it to be perfectly circular for this simple explanation. But this is not how we Earthlings see it. Here you are seeing that the, the Sun is stationary and Venus is going around it. We never see Sun at rest because we are standing not on the Sun but on planet Earth. And the moment we stand on Earth, all the motion that Earth is having gets nullified. We will see Earth as a stationary rock. While we will see the Sun moving. And how will it move? Well, it is uh, pretty much like you know you driving your car forward and seeing as if the trees and the lamp posts and the buildings going backward at the same speed as your car. Something very much similar happens here as the earth is going around the sun but when we place ourselves on the earth the sun seems to go around the earth. In how many days? Well, you can guess it is 365 days. So let us see how that uh, appears to be. So I'll get rid of this orbit of Venus and even Venus itself and instead put the earth in the picture. So this is earth. And how things appear to us? Well, they appear like this as if sun is going around the earth in this orbit. From the earth we will see that it is not moving at all. The earth is stationary. But instead the sun is going around it and it is taking 365 days to complete one orbit. Of course certain other facts like Venus is orbiting the Sun are not altered simply because we are observing it from the Earth. So whether we see it from Sun or whether we see it from the Earth, Venus will still be seen as observing the Sun. So let us bring that in. So I am going to bring in Venus and even show its orbit. And then we are going to watch both these motions combined together. Okay? There are two simple motions really, two uniform circular motions. Earth going, uh, sorry, the Sun going around the Earth and Venus going around the Sun. But these two simple motions when superposed create a very complex motion. Let us see what pattern it generates. So we will start over from this first position and we are going to trace the path of Venus as it appears from the Earth. So here we go. Now we are tracing the path. Okay. Again I would uh, uh, say that these two are two simple motions, uniform circular motions superposed on each other. Uh, these are called as epicycles. Okay. Uh, something is orbiting you and something else is orbiting that orbiting body. So that results in the so-called uh, epicycles. Of course, here I have altered uh, things just a wee bit. Instead of taking Earth's period as uh, 365 days and uh, about 8 hours, I have altered it by 3 hours. Okay, 3 hours in the whole year. So I have, you know, speeded up Earth a little bit. But it does something fantastic. It synchronizes the Earth uh, as a multiple okay, of uh, Venus's orbital period. So then I get an exact multiple. Uh, 13 uh, orbits of Venus give me 8 orbits of the Earth and this perfect pattern results. Uh, of course, even if you take uh, the actual periods, the pattern resulting uh, from it will be pretty similar. Uh, only thing is it will not repeat itself with time. Uh, here you will see this pattern which uh, really started here, you can hardly see the uh, you know, starting point, uh, will actually end at this point and will keep repeating itself, okay, which uh, doesn't really happen. By the way, that also explains why we don't see uh, transit of Venus uh, every eight years or so. Okay. Uh, that is because this is not a pattern that repeats itself 
and this is a common phenomenon in astronomy. In astronomy, uh, you don't have uh, things, you know, tuned together. Uh, by the way, see here, it has closed, and now everything is going to get repeated. Okay, the, what we just watched was a period of eight years. Okay. Let us bring this motion as close to the reality as possible. So I have corrected the periods or restored the periods to their actual values or close to the actual values. I have taken the Earth's period now as 365.25 days and that of Venus as 224.7 days. Uh, of course, we will not uh, notice much of a difference uh, because it is really very minute in the pattern that is uh, that is getting plotted now. Uh, you will see the difference when we come to this point, the beginning of our path. And that will happen in about uh, uh, 8 years time. So let me fast forward this to 8 years. So 365 uh, into 8 uh, plus let us throw in 2 more days for the leap years that we would have. So 2,922 days. So let me put uh, 2,922 days. Yes. So this is the pattern that we have plotted so far and we are you know, just behind this starting point. Let us now resume the motion and you will see it is slightly deviating from the previous path. And that error or that difference sort of keeps uh, accumulating okay, accumulating, and uh, a different pattern will result. Now this pattern will be very difficult to close, come to the exact starting point and therefore it takes thousands perhaps millions of years for astronomical phenomena like this to repeat. And mind you we have just taken one planet. Okay? Uh, the more planets we throw in, uh, the more complex it grows and more rare it becomes. It is pretty much like you know finding LCM. LCM of 2 and 3 is 6. LCM of 2, 3 and 5 would be 30. Or LCM of 2 and 3 uh, is 6 but LCM of 2.1 and 3 would be 63. From 6 you directly shoot up to 63. So these minute differences, these you know third, second um, uh, decimal places make a difference and make these things rare. So I hope you enjoyed this video but I hope more that you actually enjoyed the site. Good day.